Okay, so this is the start 3D printer um, that I was posting a video on earlier, and it is modified. Um, what I've done to it is I've designed and printed new idlers that are based on the ANET A8 idlers. So you can see they're very similar to the ones that are on here. Um, you got a X tensioner here to keep the belt nice and tight. Um, I got an A8 inspired belt tensioner here. These are idler wheels. They give you just standard bearings with some washers. So I picked those up. These are end caps that you can print. And then there's an adjustable Y end stop, this little green thing back there. Um, in addition to that, I printed a designed and printed a bed mount here. This was printed on the A8 since it needs to be the same size. So that's this is printed in ABS. On top of that is the um, six inch by six inch heated bed that I got from a US seller on eBay. So I have a heated bed on here. The stock Melzi 2.0 board that Troxy bundles with this actually has a heated bed output. So you got the main power heated bed and the hot end. Um, I'm actually running a modified version of Skynet on here. So I have full access to this. Um, I also broke out the pin A4. You can't really see it um, off the LCD connector. And that is running to an ATX power supply here. This is a 1U server ATX power supply I had laying around. Doesn't even get, it's like barely warm to the touch. Um, but you can see that the bed is heated. And I'll even show you here. Uh, go ahead and take a measurement here. And that's reading 52. Now this says 60, and you gotta remember because it's glass, it's not gonna transfer all that heat um, fully. So, but it works fine. It gives it some extra adhesion. I'm just printing I got a glass sheet on top of the build tack that is on top of the heated PCB. I have the build tack on there mainly to um, protect the PCB from damage. Um, standard Bowden setup that comes with it. I got it looped around here. You can see all the electronics back here. Um, this right here, this guy here, is a Pi Zero with the Hub Pi Y board on it, so I'm printing with OctoPrint on there. And this is printing a Nintendo Switch uh, controller adapter. So I'm using that for a power supply since I added the heated bed. The 5 amp power supply that comes with it will not work. Um, I was using a webcam right now. You can see the arm right here that I made for the heated bed attachment. Um, I'll be putting a Pi camera on there, which is sitting right here. So the bottom line is, this is a really great printer for 115 shipped in the U.S. Um, you know, I modified it with the custom idlers, and I have a V6 hot end on there with a stainless steel nozzle. And I'm actually using the old spool holder from my ANET because the one that came with it was just a tiny 3D printer one. You couldn't even fit a full spool on there. Um, but if you're looking to break into 3D printing and you don't want to spend a ton of money, this is a great little printer to get started with. Um, you know, I modified it with the hot end. The idlers and everything, which are all posted on Thingiverse, um, and I even have—I don't have a Z-axis switch because I've got the sensor right there. Um, so I have bed leveling. Even though it's a small bed, it does help since I'm—I no longer have the uh, adjustment screws there. It's just a solid mount, which is the same thing I did with the A8 here. You can see this is printing great. Um, and this is also a dual extrusion setup on here. So anyways, um, if you're looking to get into 3D printing, definitely pick up the start. You can get it from iMaker, I-M-A-K-R, and uh, I'm going to be doing a live stream next week, so you guys can uh, ask me some questions and go over some stuff. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to change on this in the foreseeable future is uh, different Z couplers here. I'm not a big fan of these since they have two two grub screws, one on either side. It's hard to get them centered in there. Now, I'm not getting any Z wobble, which is good, um, but I just like to have the ones where they clamp around. Like I have on here, these are plumb couplers, but they clamp around the rod in an equal manner so that it's easier, it's easier to get them centered. But all in all, it's a great printer. Um, Four of my friends have already ordered this that were looking to get into it, and 
you know, like I said, for 115 bucks, you got a nice solid starting point. The Melzi board is actually pretty decent, and you can, like I said, run Skynet on there, which was originally developed for the Anet A8. But the Anet A8 board is a Melzi board, identical pinout. It's just a different size, and some of the Anet A8 variants actually came with um, the Melzi board. So, and you can see I printed a case here on my A8 for it with a little 40 millimeter cooling fan. So that's about it. If any of you guys are looking at getting a heated bed on here, since unless you have another 3D printer, you're not going to be able to print that adapter. Um, just go ahead and send me an email at me at timothyhoagland.com. Um, and for 10 bucks shipped, I'll print one out in ABS and send it to you. Uh, the ABS will hold up very well uh, to the heat from the heated bed, uh, providing that you're staying under 90 Celsius, which you know, you're not going to print ABS on this without an enclosure. That's why this guy is in an enclosure. Is because ABS likes to warp and the layers like to separate. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is, again, the Start 3D Printer by iMaker. It is really a rebranded Tronxy, T-R-O-N-X-Y, so Tronxy, X-Y-100. So, but it's a very nice starting point. Definitely a nice printer to get you started into 3D printing. So... Take it easy. I'm out.